Welcome to Building Together. We are so excited to be in round one of our Modular Madness Bracket. Today we have our first matchup, our first seed, the Parisian Restaurant, versus the 16th seed, the Palace Cinema. We are each going to share our thoughts on the sets compared to one another, and then tell the winner. The set receiving at least three individual votes will win their matchup. Autumn, what do you think about the sets? I like the Parisian Restaurant because I like the technique and I don't like the house cinema. It's too boring. Daddy, what do you think? I love the Parisian Restaurant. All of the architectural details on the front of the building, the building techniques, especially with the roof and the studio, you've got the white croissants, the shells, the French architecture, the interior details. There's a lot packed into this set. There's a reason why it's the number one seed. I love it. I like the PAL Cinema, but compared to the detail, the thought, and the execution of the Parisian restaurant, it's just not quite there. The interior on the first floor, I love the red carpet look, but this it's not really detailed on the interior by using the base plate. It's got one theater. Which movie theater has one theater? I don't know. Uh, so that's a drawback. So comparing the two, I think I know which way I'm leaning. I like the Parisian restaurant because I like the front of it, like on the base plate. Because I like the garden, the one with the chains. And I don't like on the back. There's the um, balcony. I don't like that because there isn't any room. And then the mouse, I know I like it because... It has an actual movie and also red carpet. And I like it a lot more because I feel like the Parisian restaurant is boring. What do you think, Mommy? So I think that the Parisian restaurant is full of detail. I love the French architecture. French architecture in general tends to be ornate. And so I think having all those ornate details really goes with the concept of the building. I think each level has really interesting things to it. Starting with the bottom level, you have this amazing tiled floor in the kitchen. Just all these little details that are in it just make it really pop. The second floor has that nice fireplace with the swivel chair. And the top floor even has a kiln to, you know, bake their pottery in. So just so many cool details everywhere you look on this one. Also on the outside, we have a lot of foliage, which I like. It makes it feel very spring-like and, you know, Full of life and pretty. The bushes I think are really well done. I haven't really seen bushes like that anywhere else. So I'm just a fan of the overall look of it and all the little details of it. The only negative for me is just how small it is. Everything's kind of cramped. There's this outdoor seating area. There's areas in the back that aren't used for the interior part of the building. So each floor is really small. The Palace Cinema, on the other hand, is much bigger. You've got lots of open space in it, but that can be kind of a negative as well because it is more simplistic on the inside. That being said, I do love the set as well. The exterior reminds me kind of of a combination of Chinese and Spanish influences, but it has a, just this great Hollywood vibe throughout the whole thing. It's got some great humor going on with all the titles of the movies from The Brick Separator to Mystery on the Monorail to Forever Sorting and the Showing Tonight movie Three Clicks and a Snap starring minifigures. So some good humor in this set uh, makes it kind of fun as well. A great sign, uh, theater sign, is really fun too. The exterior ticket windows, I think, are great. The lobby has that red carpet, but as Colin mentioned, it still is kind of a simplistic floor, even though I like that red carpet look. The snack stand is great. Um, I like the theater seats and the screen, um, but again, it is fairly simplistic on the interior design. And also, if we're comparing them one set to the other, the Palace Cinema has two floors, whereas the Parisian Restaurant has three full floors, so that may be um, adds to a little bit of the simplisticness of the theater. All right, so we are going to vote for the set. I'm guessing you probably have a guess of what we're all going to vote for based off our comments, but let's see. Autumn, who, which set are you voting for? Parisian Restaurant. I'm also going to vote for the Parisian Restaurant. Kiara? Palace Cinema. 
I have to go with the Parisian restaurant as much as I like to play the cinema. So that gives us three votes for the Parisian restaurant. And that was a bit tighter. I wasn't sure what Julia was going to vote for on that one. I thought we were going to have to enter our debate round in round one in the one versus 16 matchup, but we avoided that. Really good analyses. But in the end, the Parisian restaurant moves on. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and ring that bell so you can get more of our March Madness matchups and thoughts on all these fantastic modulars. Remember everybody, keep building together.